If you are facing this kind of an error in After Effects, there is an easy and simple fix to this problem. I have searched over the internet, even in the Adobe's forum, but still every solution was not useful and it did not fix the error. But I would tell you a simple way to fix this error. So this error which gives you the After Effects error D returned invalid max result to react from PF command smart pre-render something. So this error occurs basically while you play the timeline so if you press the space and play the uh, timeline you can see that this error so even if i press ok it gives you multiple errors of this so this issue is caused mainly by one of your effects so in my case it is deep glow effect so i have applied the deep glow effects on this so this is causing problem and if i just turn this off so you can see if i play it now i won't face this problem but in this case i have to use this so that is not an option and that is not a solution for me so i would see that i have applied this effect on my two shape layer so one is this and second is this one so what i would suggest to you that if you have applied this effect on an adjustment layer then just remove that effect from that adjustment layer and based on these individual layers but if you have a similar case where you have just applied this effect on the individual shape layers then you should create an adjustment layer by the way this is very useful script ez tool and this is absolutely free if you want to download it join our telegram group and this tool is absolutely free created by some author so basically you can create a new adjustment layer by clicking on this and that creates new adjustment layer now select the shape layer select uh, this deep glow just copy it and turn this fx off from even on the line second shape layer and just select the adjustment layer and paste it over here and uh, now if i play it you can see i won't face this problem now uh, the only issue is that this is affecting my entire timeline or this glow is applied on everything so for that purpose i can just select all of these and pre-compose them with the help of ez tool or you can right click and pre-compose and now if i play it i don't see this error and the second method which you can use to just fix this problem is by going to the edit and then select the purge and select purge all cache or memory and disk cache okay so if you select this it's going to remove all unnecessary cache files which are stored in your drive and that would also fix this issue i hope this issue fix your problem if it does please consider sharing this to help others. And if you want to learn how to fix the no keyframe shown in After Effects, then check out this tutorial.